A Salem man who died nearly two years ago leaves behind a gift of a beating heart. Now his mother is sharing the story of how he saved a man's life by being an organ donor. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell tells us how she's encouraging others in light of this tragedy. Melinda Dillon remembers her son Lucas as full of life and energy. I had more friends than you could count. But she says many people didn't know about the 21 year old's decade long struggle with mental illness until he took his own life nearly two years ago. His blood type and mine both were B positive and part of his notation was to us when you know he committed suicide was to stay positive. Melinda got that message tattooed on her wrist along with Lucas's heartbeat. It's been hard. It's hard to stay positive. There's and she took it a step positive, further, deciding know, to share her son's story of organ donation. I think that's what we as his family want to see happen. We want other people to realize, you know, you've got to do something for somebody. If you can make a difference for one person, that's all that matters. For Lucas, that one person is Dave. Well, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be talking to you right now. Lucas's heart now beats inside the chest of a 56 year old Navy veteran who was suffering from congestive heart failure. I was gone, dead gone, you know. I wasn't supposed to be here. Before Lucas, I wasn't supposed to be here. Melinda reached out to Dave, and months later, they met in person. All right, here we go. That's when she and her family were able to hear Lucas's donated heart beating in Dave's chest. That heart started out in me. And Lukey's love because of that heart is just continuing to beat every single day. That familiar heartbeat created a unique bond. He's just another member of our family now. How thankful are you? Every day. Every day I wake up. Now Melinda encourages others to follow in her son's footsteps by donating. I think Lucas taught us we just have to give back. We have to stay positive and give back to somebody else giving back by giving new life to Lucas's heart and hope for Dave's future. Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you. And Melinda Dillon joins us now live. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yes, tell us a little bit about Lucas. Lucas was a young man who was full of life, full of energy, um, had more friends than you could count, was always into something, doing something fun, um, just living life to its fullest, but you know, he also struggled. He struggled with uh, sleep, he struggled with anxieties, things that not often everyone knew. Some of his closest friends knew and realized mm -hmm. some of the, the things that he had struggled with, um, and we as a family, and it's, you know, it can be a very helpless feeling at times, yeah. um, but you know, he was a to meet him out, he was a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, wasn't anybody that didn't love Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what was it like, describe your feelings when you heard his heartbeat again? Um, just amazing. Um, you know, I think we, we all knew it was there. We, right. we knew it was happening. We knew he had saved the life of someone else. Um, but just to hear it and to know Dave even meant more. Yeah. Um, yeah. There, they had a lot of commonalities, which was really unusual. Really? Yes. Interesting. Sports teams that they both liked. Oh, wow. um, yeah, there were some very unusual things that, that okay. came up in conversation. That, uh, yeah, um, interesting. I love yeah. what you said that he's now part of your family. Mm -hmm. He is. We think so much of Dave. He's, yeah. um, you know, He's such a grateful person, but he's also, you know, he talks about Lukey all the time. He, mm -hmm. He'll say, you know, Lukey and I are going to do this today, or, you I know, come on, Lukey. Yes. <laughs> you know? Wow. So That's incredible. And his heart wasn't the only thing that he donated, is that right? Right. He okay. donated two kidneys, wow. his heart, and the two corneas. Wow. That's what he was able to donate. Wow. That's what amazing. do you want others who are watching here today to know? What's uh, the message you want to get out there? One, um, you know, Lucas passed away from suicide. Mm -hmm. One, suicide prevention out of the darkness was this past year's theme. That's extremely important to me. Mm -hmm. Talking about it, helping others, working to save a life, and also helping families that are struggling with that with their own children. 
um, or family members for, as far as that goes and donate life please be mm -hmm. an organ donor yeah. um, you know it's so important how we can save so many lives through just one organ and um, you and, know and it was simple because Lucas signed up through just when he got his license is that right he did okay he mm -hmm. did he so became just a, a donor simple decision then. like that mm -hmm. right yeah so if you want more information on bullying or any or the organ donation, um, you can do that. It's donatelifevirginia.org. There's a lot of information there, um, and so you can you can do that for sure. So thank you so much for sharing. Thank Lucas's you. Story. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you.